did Chris Eubank Jr. just G check the entire promotion side of that pond? <laughs> What's going on, y'all? I am your boy, Slick50, yo. Boy, I can't wait for this Better Be Evolve October 12th. Woo-wee. We all going to have videos on them, guys. That's going to be a hell of a fight. There's a lot of uh good cards on that. You know, that's another one you don't want to miss. So it's the rider season. All that for putting that together. But today I'm watching a press conference. Got a little tippy up there, you know what I'm saying? You got Frank Warren going in on somebody, and you can tell he was kind of talking to the uh, fans or whatnot. I guess they was mad over there because um, they were playing Saudi Arabia's, um, I guess, national anthem. And Frank Warren was like, duh, they financing it. I'm with him on that. And then somebody else was talking bad about it, but I think he was talking about somebody that was sitting there on the slide <laughs> and he thought he was going to take it, you know, but I could be wrong, but it was just so big. It was just in, in, in succession. So I'm not sure, but, um, yeah, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all hear it, but yeah, man, Chris Eubank Jr. G check, Frank, Eddie, man, the whole side of that pine, except boxer. Cause you know, that's who he signed to now, but, I'm going to let y'all hear it. Y'all let me, just let me know. Let me know what you think. What you think. Everyone from 147 to 168 pounds. Chris, you're back. And it's good to see you back as well. New promotional team, new trainer for this camp as well. On the promotional team, you've chosen boxer. Why? <clears throat> um, why boxer? Because... Every other promoter out here is a scumbag. <laughs> a scumbag, bro. That's why. You know. Man, he killed me how he talks so poetic, bro. Like, he sounds just like his father. Got uh, Frank Warren behind me. Been lying and cheating his way through boxing for the last couple decades. Sued me for a couple hundred thousand a few years ago, so obviously I was never going to go with him. Um, you know, the guy's a scumbag. Uh, Kale Sauerland, you know, had me locked up. Speak in, up, uh, I can't hear you. Kale Sauerland. Dear Frank Warren, speak up. We can't hear you. <laughs> My guy's 72 years old. He's still getting hot on stage. You hear me? But, uh, you know, I've been locked up in a terrible contract for the last few years, squeezing money out of me at every opportunity. Um, scumbag. Uh, Eddie Hearn, Frank Smith, you know, they did everything they could to try and make uh, this fight against Conor Ben. Still go ahead. Scumbag. Still go ahead. What? Frank Warren in the background. Are oh, we still going to listen to this scumbag? <laughs> hey, bro, this is hilarious, bro. I can't believe he did this. It took his sweet time, man. If you need a face with cool, calm, and collective, yeah, it's this guy right here, Chris Eubank Jr., man. <laughs> Swear. Why'd you fight Hamza Sharad Scott? After knowing that they uh, you know, that he was on the steroids. Um scumbags, you know. Yeah, that was a big blow to Eddie. He said uh they knew kind of being was on steroids. And still was gonna, you know. They was basically hiding it from. I would say the only. Why do you ask? I would say the only promoter that I know for sure isn't a scumbag is His Excellency Turkey Al Sheikh. You know, this is a man who isn't trying to. I ain't gonna play the whole thing though, but bro, and he goes on um, to salute the promoter, a boxer, and so on and so forth. You know, what I mean, and whatnot. But um, I think to be fair, what nobody else gonna mess with him. That's why I really think, like, you know, he got this fight secured through uh, Turkey out of shape. You know what I'm saying? But 
you you can hear the animosity from Frank. You you know if you look if you look at this presser, you can see um, Eddie like Eddie was anticipating it. You know what I mean? And this ain't the first time Chris Eubank. You know he 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 does take after his his father. He's very flamboyant. You know what I'm saying? He kind of speaks what's on his mind, and he kind of always think he's right. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's been a couple times he hasn't. You know, and he's just a cat that wants what he wants, but he's not understanding. He's up in age right now. So to get what he want, you got to work for it. Plus, you've been flip-flopping trainers. This one's a new trainer. I don't even know who he is. New promoter. He's just not stable. You know what I'm saying? He'll, now, the last fight against Liam was nice, but the one before that, you know, it was an up and down thing. He was with Roy, you know. He was trying to fight like Roy. Then he was with... um. Bo Mac, Terrence and them, you know, it's, you know, so I kind of get it, but at the same time, he ain't, <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie, bro, he G-checked him, though, he G-checked him, man, man, hey, check it out, it's dope, this press was nice, like I said, you got Scott Nicholson going against Raven on here, man, you got some fights on here, Ben Whitaker got a fight, uh, the co-main event is, um, Warley and, um, that's, Fabio Warley and, um, Oh, my God, I just went blank, but, yeah, that's going to be a banger. It's a second time around. The first one was a draw. You know, it's a heavyweight fight. Yeah, you got Jao Patai on this thing. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a nice card. Despite what you may hear, trust me, you're going to find some type of enjoyment out of it, and you're going to like it, you know what I'm saying? Um, and before I get out of here, man, I know all this went on earlier, but that boy ended up apologizing to Frank Warren. See, the second time this week, somebody done apologized for running their mouth. But you know, that's how it is, man. These youngsters, man, they feel entitled, bro. You know what I mean? We're going to talk more about that, too. So make sure y'all tune in Friday for the live judges table. You know what I'm saying? Turn that bell on because I went. Uh, uh, the podcast was live yesterday, too, as well. So just hit that bell, man. You know, but no matter what day, it's going to be live on friday for sure you know what i'm saying but hit that bell just in case we do an extra live podcast through the week come through hang out with your boy slick 50 and friends you get what i'm saying without y'all there's no me you feel me i hope y'all enjoying this new ticker hey it's real li- uh real time updated you know what i'm saying it's pretty dope bro y'all be easy man like i say hit that like button comment subscribe all that good stuff i'm your boy slick 50 man y'all be easy deuces Oh, <laughs>